everybody right here in like this section right here. All y'all are like half asleep. Y'all over here half asleep. Can we try that one more time? Or are you guys are you guys conserving your energy? You sure? No. All right. So, y'all ready to clap? I hear like four people. Y'all ready to clap? Slammed all the way. Let's see this. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I link up with the squad and we take us a trip down to Virginia for a bike and breakfast event. Now, before we pull out, I link up with my homeboy, Bird. He's pushing a beautiful, mean GSX-R600. We head over to the harbor and we link up with the homie, Jamil. Jamil is pushing a beautiful Aprilia RSV4. Also there was my man, uh, G-Code, G codes pushing a beautiful ZX10R uh, anniversary edition. Also was my man Brandon. He's pushing a beautiful blacked out ZX10R, and my man Two was there. He's pushing a beautiful uh, Ducati Panic Gal 1199. My man Domo was there. He's pushing a beautiful uh, ZZR 600 Ninja. And uh, last but not least, my man Cuts, he was there pushing that beautiful Hayabusa. And uh, we all linked up, man. We we broke out and headed down to Virgi uh, Virginia. And it was an absolutely awesome ride. There were some bouncing hills that we got into, some, some nice, you know, sweeping twisties, man. It was a beautiful ride. Once we got down to the venue, there were bikes for days, people for days. I mean, the venue was absolutely packed out. We had a great time meeting people. Um, just the experience, you know what I'm saying? It was the first time I've ever been on a group ride of that size. First time I've been to an event, an event of that magnitude, and it was absolutely awesome. I could go on for days talking about that. Um, but once we wrapped things up down there in Virginia, we came on back to Maryland and we checked out uh, the International Raceway where it was the last day of, uh, of Honda Day. And Honda Day is a tribute to Hondas. And particularly, uh, they had a Honda car show. They had uh, Honda drag racing. So you had those souped up Civics, you know, and, and, and different Honda models that were breaking 200 miles an hour. You had the Hondas that were kitted out, you know what I'm saying, out there for the uh, car show. These vehicles are absolutely beautiful, man. The way they mod these things out, slam them down to the ground, the, uh, the the engine modifications that they do to these things, man, it's just, it's bar none. Um, also, they had a uh, car system show off slash competition that was going on. You guys will see all this stuff in the, uh, in the video. They had DJs out there, man. They had people out there um, dancing. <laughs> you had vendors out there. It was an absolutely awesome event. It was completely off the chain. By the time we left, people were still out there getting busy. It was absolutely popping. Um, we started at 0800 and we finished at 1700. That's 5 p.m. for you military minded. And I'm telling you, man, it was an extraordinary event. So I had to take all of that, distill it down to his brass tacks, but hopefully um, it's enough for you guys to enjoy. And if you do enjoy this type of content, Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys stay abreast of what's popping over here on Quicksilver. So with all that being said, you can see that I'm geared up. I'm about to head out the door, about to turn some more corners with the fellas. And uh, you guys stay posted. This your boy. This is Quicksilver. And we out of here. There they go. Back straight, came through the first turn and 
Got the duck. Yes, sir. Here we go. Well, people, we're about to head out this morning to Clifton, Virginia. We got a bikes and breakfast going on. We got us a nice little squad. It's supposed to be a killer showing of folks that's going to be down there at the spot. I'm saying it's going to be like a thousand bikes down there. So we're going to get on down here and see.
this is absolutely awesome man i love it <laughs> people you just don't know well obviously if you're a rider you do know wish you was here baby Look at this. Look at all these bikes out here. Man, this is beautiful.
Man, look at this lineup. That is pretty.
started just many years ago. So, again, thank you, John, for making all this possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will certainly be remiss if I fail to recognize this good brother here. Folks, this is Lee, and Lee is a retired Army veteran who served in Vietnam. The minute I saw this guy, I had to go over and thank him for his service. And as we began to talk, you know, our, our backgrounds just seemed to, to match up so perfectly. Him being an, a former infantry guy. I was a former infantry guy. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Army lingo, the infantryman, 11 Bravo, he is a gunfighter. He is a gunslinger. He is the guy who is out there putting bullets on target. So when I saw this brother again, I had to thank him for his service. And uh, we just began to kick it off instantly. This fella has a very warm heart. And he was out there with his beautiful bride. The man has to be at least in his mid to late 70s. But him and his bride, they were still out there on those bikes, getting it in. As you can see, his beautiful V-Rod there. Man, he just gave me so much encouragement for the future. But uh, Lee, if you happen to come across this video, I salute you, my friend. It was good to meet you. Hopefully, I'll see you out there next time. And until then, keep those two wheels down. All right, folks, we're back. What an awesome day we have had out here. So many people out here. So many awesome people. It is actually hot out here now. Feeling great. I need to shed some of my some of my snivel gear. Get a couple layers off of me. 
day so I think from here we're gonna head on back to the harbor and then some brothers gonna be splitting off we're gonna be going our separate ways and some of us we're gonna keep on pushing on down to the uh, to the mer there's something going on down there so we're gonna go down there and check it out No, I'm good. I got his bathroom. Huh? I got his bathroom. <laughs> you gotta use the bathroom, bathroom? Huh? You gotta use the bathroom, bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Two times. Two what? <laughs> hey, I've been holding this shit ever since we've been at that other side. Oh, that's it, man. I gotta stop home. <laughs> I gotta go home first. Woo! Yeah. Golly, man. You got your bathroom. <laughs> oh, man. My man, Rick. Had some fun today. An OG, the triple OG, J Dub. Yeah. <laughs>
So people, that is it for the video. It was a long day and at the end I forgot to plug up my GoPro mic. So the audio wasn't the best, but um, you know, basically it was just a wrap for the video. As you can see, after we left from my man Cuts' spot, we went over, scooped up the big homie, J-Dub, and we took it down to the Murk. We had some fun out there, um, and then we took it on to the house. So again, people, if you like this type of content, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you guys can stay abreast of what's popping over here on the Quicksilver channel. I really appreciate you guys and gals rocking with me. And until the next time, y'all keep them two wheels down. Later.